It's been called a deadly stretch of highway by Abilene Police Chief Stan Stanridge. Accidents on Interstate 20 have killed many people from young to old and even a police detective. But now the Texas Department of Transportation says it has the money to widen the stretch of I-20 in East Abilene, hoping the new six lanes will make it safer. KTAB's Claire Kreitz has the story. We've reported it time and time again. Another crash on Interstate 20. Many of those fatal. We have two dead daughters, 11 and 14. Whew, sorry. This press conference from Police Chief Stan Stanridge was after two teen girls were killed in a traffic accident on I-20 near 351 in 2018. Today we lost two precious kids. This hitting the community hard, but sadly not the last fatal accident on this stretch of road. Almost a year ago to date, we reported the Texas Department of Public Safety was looking at ways to widen this part of the interstate. Now those plans becoming more of a reality. This is step one in a number of steps to come uh, that will help us to improve that accessibility for our great city. TxDOT has secured funding to widen I-20 to six lanes, starting from State Highway 351 to the Callahan County line, and is now asking stakeholders like Doug Peters for their input. Obviously, as a representative of the business community, we want to make sure that it, it's minimal impact on the businesses uh, who may uh, be located on the, the access roads, the frontage roads there, uh, also the businesses at 351. Hosting a public meeting November 12th, a date Abilene Business General Manager and community member Casey Kilborn says is already on his calendar. We got to get good information out in the public. That's why I'm going. While Kilborn is happy to hear of TxDOT's plan to widen this particular stretch of I-20. I think that certainly needs to happen, but it also lends to the next question, and I'm sure they have an answer to this somewhere, or will have it, that from 351 going west towards, uh, towards Sweetwater and further, what's the plan for that? But both Kilborn and Peter say this is a great first step. Anytime our community can work to improve accessibility, uh, to help people get in, get out, uh, to do business here, to do uh, their trade here, uh, the better we all are. In Abilene, with coverage you can count on, Claire Kreitz, KTAB News. Thank you, Claire. The meeting for the public is in two weeks, Tuesday, November 12th. It's not a formal presentation. If you go, you'll be able to talk directly to the people who are planning the project. It's at the Hillcrest Church of Christ.